Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new, my name is Lauren, and today we are doing something a little bit different. I've been doing so many Shein hauls, but your girl's got to save up some money before she does another one. I do have some more Shein clothes to do a video on right now, but then after that, it might be a little bit. I don't know. There's still some more stuff that I need for, like, for the colder season, but I might wait a little bit. Because I really need to save up some money. I've been spending all my money on clothes lately. Which is fine, you know. It's my money. I can spend it on what I want. But I need to save up a little bit. Anyways, uh, we are doing a college outfit ideas video today. And so these outfits, I think I have 10 outfits if I'm not wrong. And these outfits, they're kind of like, they're pretty basic, but also look put together. So like, they look effortless, but also like you put in a lot of effort. And I think that is like a big part of college fashion. It's pretty basic, but it looks, you know, you still look put together and like you tried, but also like you didn't try, if you know what I mean. I just, I don't know. That is what I feel like is college fashion. At least that's kind of the gist I got when I went to college, which I'm still in college now, but in online college. So I'm not actually going to school right now, but I have been like two years ago. Two years ago, I was on campus. Yes. Wow. I'm getting old. But anyways, just keep on watching. I'll get right into the video with outfits. All right, guys, this is outfit number one. We have this kind of tighter a fitting white crop top this belt these straight leg really ripped jeans they don't have any holes in the back only in the front got this nike hat and my white vans and i just i don't know i think i feel like this outfit makes me feel really cool and just i don't know it looks kind of like streetwear almost i guess i don't know maybe i'm wrong and i don't know my fashion but i don't know <laughs> take a shot every time i say i don't know Please don't do that. Please don't do that. But I do think this is really cute and it like it feels cool. Like I feel cool wearing this. And it's just it's really like plain. It's just using some basics, which are like super essential for college outfits in my opinion. So this is outfit number one. Alright guys, this is outfit number two. We have this really big, really oversized t-shirt with these kind of longer, looser fitting denim shorts. And I really love this outfit. It's really, really simple, but like, I don't know. It looks like I tried, but it also looks effortless. So, and that's like kind of how all these outfits are in, in a way. And then I have on my white bands as always. And this is like the most comfiest t-shirt that I own. I love it. This is from Shein and these are from Shein. Now these have like no stretch, but I, I don't know. I think they look really good and just kind of simple, but a little something, you know, they look a little put together, I guess. I don't know. But this is the second outfit. Alright guys, this is outfit number three. We have this white tennis skirt, which is from Aerie. And then this t-shirt right here, which is from Shein and my white vans again. Literally wear these shoes with everything. I'll probably wear them with, I apologize for my dog barking. She barks at everything. She's a German Shepherd. But anyways, I feel like I'm talking so fast. Um, This skirt is like... It's like a staple piece in my closet at the moment. I love it. It's super comfortable. Like, it may look like it wouldn't be comfortable, but it is. If you haven't tried a tennis skirt, you need to try it because they are so comfortable. But, like, they still make you feel, like, really, really, like, cute and girly. And, which I love feeling cute and girly. That's my style. I love it. And they do have like shorts underneath too. So, I mean, you're not going to be like showing anything because I know it does look short, but it does have shorts underneath. So, that is not a problem. And then this shirt has this white stitching up at the top, which is really good. I think I already said this was from Shein and this is from Airy Vans yet again. Alright guys, this is outfit number four. We have this cute little sweatshirt. It says Colorado. I've never been to Colorado, but it's cute. And then these skinny jeans.
jeans from Fashion Nova and I just kind of roll them up at the bottoms. In my opinion, like whenever I'm wearing skinny jeans, I always roll them up a little bit at the bottoms. I feel like it just, it makes the look a little bit better. I don't know. It just, it looks a lot better in my opinion than leaving them all the way down. It just, I don't know. It makes it look more put together, I guess. I don't know. Again, take a shot every time I say, I don't know. You will be wasted by the end of this video. I'm not promoting drinking more. Anyways, white beds again. And that's basically this whole outfit. Again, just basic, but put together. And I mean, this is an outfit, obviously, for, like, colder days. This sweatshirt is, like, it's really fuzzy on the inside, so it is warmer. And I don't have anything on under it, but you definitely could wear stuff under it for, like, even colder days. And keep in mind, it's also usually pretty cold in classrooms. So, this is actually, it's actually probably not a bad idea to keep a sweatshirt on you at all times, or a cardigan, or jacket, or whatever is your style. But, I don't know. I really love this outfit. It's a little too warm for me to be wearing this right now. But it's cute. And a little close-up of this sweatshirt. I really love it. I think the thing, the design on here is super cute. But anyways, that is outfit number four. Alright guys, this is outfit number five. It's a little more sporty-ish looking. Both of these items are from Shein. And again white vans but I mean for any of these outfits you can change out the shoes I have these pink vans that I wear a lot of the times so these go with a lot of things well a lot of my things because I wear a lot of pink and I have some sandals that look like Birkenstocks but they're not they're actually from Walmart and I really like them so and I wear those a lot of times but whenever I don't know what shoes to wear, these are my absolute go-tos. You might have like some special tennis shoes that are your go-tos or some sandals, but these are mine. And so I, I wear them with legit anything. But both of these are from Shein and these shorts, they don't have pockets, which is a big just like, it sucks. Like why, why do they continue to make girls clothes without pockets? It, it makes no sense. They just, they love making life inconvenient for the ladies, but whatever. They're still, they're super, super comfortable. They're like a sweatpant material, but I mean, they're not like, they're not hot to wear. I mean, they're shorts, but, and they are like pretty short, but not like, I don't know, they're still fine. And then this Care Bears shirt, I think it is super cute if you can see it good enough. I know the lighting's not the best, but maybe it's not too bad. And the pinks don't like 100% match, but I think like it's good enough to where like it still looks good in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't, and if you don't, that's okay. But this was outfit number five. Alright guys, this is outfit number six. This outfit is like... This is kind of the basis of a lot of outfits that I wear. I will wear like summer ripped skinny jeans, a crop top, and a cardigan. That is like, that is like a formula that I use all the time. I am a girl who loves cardigans. I'm cold constantly, but you know, this is a way to keep me warm without making me hot. And especially good for in the classrooms when it's super hot outside, but then it gets colder in the classroom. You know, you just put on your little cardigan and then white bands yet again my pink bands would go with this definitely but for this pink crop top which you don't always have to be wearing just everything pink for you know pink shoes you can you know accessorize and stuff as you please i'm not the best at accessorizing but we'll get there we'll get there it's a process and so these jeans are american eagle this top is shein this cardigan I think it's Charlotte Russe, but I got it like very, very, very many years ago. I'm sure it's not available anymore, but I'm sure you can still find stuff like this at a lot of different places. Probably Shein. They have like everything. I shop there all the time. That's like almost exclusively where I shop nowadays. But you can see this cardigan is like super like thin. It's got a whole bunch of holes in it. And then just these are some looser like super stretched jeans. 
and a crop top. I just, I don't know. This is a really like cute put together looking outfit for me and really like cozy feeling too. All right, this is outfit number seven. We have this like cars t-shirt. I think it's really cute. I love this car, my favorite car. Don't know much about cars, but I know I like this one. And then these, uh, I guess kind of athletic shorts. I'm not really sure what you would call these. They're not really biker shorts. They're more like workout shorts. I got in a workout set from Shein and this is from Shein. Surprise, surprise. And uh, you know, what shoes do I have on? White bands. Anyways, uh, this outfit is really, really comfortable. I would kind of be careful wearing shorts like these because they are likely to show everything. Um, you'd be good going with a black pair too or with like a really bigger t-shirt. I definitely could have sized up in this to wear with, you know, shorts like this. And I would have if this was like a regular outfit I wear, but it's not really, but I thought it like, it went well with, you know, just the plain, simple, basic vibes of college fashion. So, but I do like this outfit, it's super comfortable. I do like wearing it around the house. Probably won't ever wear it out because it's not my usual style, but I think it works. So this was outfit number seven. All right guys, this is outfit number eight. It is this, like, this all came together. This is from Fashion Nova. This is something to wear probably on colder days. It's really, really comfortable and it's actually pretty warm. It's a thicker, good material. And I know Fashion Nova has a lot of like outfits like this that it really looks so put together, but so comfy at the same time. So I really love outfits like this. I want to get myself more. This is the only one I have and I love it. I love wearing this around the house, out and about everywhere because I, I'm so comfortable, but I still look like put together and everything goes. It's so effortless, but just looks so good. And like this comes off too. So like you don't have to like wear the jacket with it. This is a little bit loose, but it's not really a big deal. I definitely could have sized down, but I don't know. Um, I still like it and I don't know. It's really comfy, you got my white bands on. You can wear any type of like tennis shoes with this also would look really good. And yeah, this is, I don't know. This outfit also makes me feel just like, makes me feel cool, you know? Like, I don't know, I don't know. Outfit number eight. All right, guys, this is outfit number nine. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I would have been confident enough to actually wear something like this to class, but I think it looks like, it looks really cool and put together. It looks like just cool girl. Got my white bands on, wow, my knee just popped. I don't know if you heard that. And like, this would look really good with um, tennis shoes. A lot of these outfits would look good with tennis shoes. So any type of like your, your type of go-to shoe would probably look good with 99% of these outfits. So I have this top and shorts. This came in a set together from Shein. This is my husband's. Give me a second and I'll tell you where it is from. Realtree. This is from Realtree. So if you ever need like some overcoats or something, just raid your husband, your brother, your boyfriend, your dad's closet. And you'll you'll probably find something. So, and I just think, I don't know. This is it's really comfortable. And with like this black, you're more likely to get away with like it not showing as much and not clinging to you as much. With the lighter color, it, and it was a different material. The other one was a different material. The other shorts, the purple ones. But I like these better. And then I just have it paired with a Nike hat. And so this is outfit number nine. All right, guys, this is outfit number 10. Our last outfit of this video. I left on that same sports bra from the last outfit. I have on this cropped sweatshirt from Fashion Nova and then these sweatpants from Nike and my white Vans. These sweatpants are super, super comfortable. If you see dog hair on them, no, you don't. I have a white Husky and a German Shepherd. And, uh, but you know. We don't recognize dog hair here. It just, it, we don't talk about it. But 
this is a good outfit for like your cooler days. These sweatpants are really, really comfortable. They are really soft on the inside. I don't think they're supposed to be high-waisted, but I pull them up anyways because I feel like they're more flattering that way. And then, you know, just this. This is like super, super comfortable. The sleeves are a little bit long, which isn't a big deal. I could definitely size down in this, but I think it looks really cute oversized. And this is still like, again, this is a really comfy, cozy outfit, but looks like put together. And you could also like wear this same like top with, you know, those shorts that I wore in the last outfit or with some leggings. Or you could wear like some colored leggings and like that same color bralette or I guess bralette too or a sports bra under it. Like, you know, anything like that would look cute together. And so this was the last outfit of the video. I will film my outro. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know, like, if you're going to college, if you're going into high school, like, what are you going into? This is definitely a look, look more for college because it doesn't really work with dress codes. I always hated dealing with dress codes. If you want more of a video for high school, then I can definitely do that, too. That works with dress codes. But let me know, sorry, I'm messing with my window thing. Let me know um, what else you would like to see. If there's any other specific like lookbook stuff you would like to see, any other outfit ideas. I do have another Shein haul coming soon, but then after that, I don't really know where I'm gonna be at with that. I'll still be doing them uh, sometimes and I like to put out makeup videos too. So, you know, I have those around too. You may not be interested in those and that's fine, but I plan to do a variety of both fashion and makeup videos, maybe some sprinkled in life, lifestyle stuff here and there. I don't know. Just, I don't know. Let me know what you guys like to see and just let me know. Communicate with me. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Or don't. If you don't want to see me anymore, that's fine. You don't have to. That's the joy of the internet. You can see me if you want to, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But, and and next time you see me, my hair will be a different color. I'm getting my hair done today. I'll probably post a short of it when I get it done. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!